I have already proven to be the guy who solves problems. All right. I don't know why I'm not the leader here. All right. Why would you make it a fucking house? Okay. All right. It's not even like human. I'll right? be frank. Whoa, whoa. Um, I've already watched you fail to cast two spells today. I will be voting for the house. You. Harthy, you're... that's winning vote. We just... Harthy is leader of fraternity. Finally, this has never <laughs> happened before. This is some fucking bullshit. Okay, wow. Well, okay, that, 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 that's kind of <laughs> sick. Um, <laughs> all right. Jesus. everyone welcome to our first session of the university of the wandering isle a magic academy uh, for adults just as a reference these are not uh young school kids these are adult D, &D players here um we're doing uh a second edition uh homebrew campaign uh if you don't know what that means don't worry we'll explain what it takes to succeed and if you ever want an overview just ask in the comments below uh but with that being said we're going to start our campaign as we come into a scene of our intrepid adventurers on a boat shifting towards this uh, thing called the Wandering Isle. As you see, it looks like the picture before you. Three large stone towers jet out from this large island. Um, it's about probably five miles in each direction, every four directions of the island. <clears throat> But what they're here for isn't any of the wilderness on their, this island. They're here specifically to learn at the uh, University of the Wandering Isle Magic Academy. And what are they going to learn there? Well, they're going to learn magic for their various different reasons. They have come here to learn, study, whether it be by force, necessity, uh, some epic quest they intend to go on in the future. They need to learn the skills of magic, and this is the place to be. This isle wanders around my world of Idmar, between the oceans and uh, everywhere else. So it has no fixed location, but it is the place to learn magic, as it is the most prestigious magic academy there is. We start with our zooming in on one of our characters. I will roll a d4 just to randomly select. It is Locke Rockford, the Grey Elf Chronomancer. We zoom in on Locke Rockford, and next to him is Janos. What is your name? Sorry? Janus. Janus. Uh, the two of them, as you see below here, the gray elf and the human with uh, whitish hair, are stood in front of on this large ship sailing towards the island, this old crotchety wizard. He's got a long gray beard. He's got little glasses that he has to see out of because he's kind of going blind from old age and a big pointy hat. And he looks at the two of you, he's wagging a finger, and he's saying, Lock Rockford and Janos. Janos, it is time for you to learn. You failed so many times with me. I even tried to teach you spells outside of your specialty. But here, they will set you straight. You, Lock Rockford, for too long, you have tarried away and taken... All of your studies so unseriously. I am so disappointed in you. You are incredibly gifted. And if you tried hard, you could really accomplish a lot. And then he will look at uh, Janus and say, Now, Janus, you'll have to put in a lot of work, I'll be honest. You are not as naturally gifted as Locke Rockford. But if you ever wish to accomplish your dreams, you must put in your hardest. Never forget, in your heart there is fire, and with that fire you can spark the world ablaze. Quite literally, with fireballs. Uh, and this wizard will look to you expectingly as you sail towards the island. This is your master, well, your teacher. Well, thanks, man, but I'll, I'll try my best. It. But you know what? Like, expectations are really harsh in my vibe right now. Like, why, we can just chill, man. Why not? <laughs> I mean... Are you smoking? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just meditating, Have you man. been smoking Meditate. the pipe weed again? Mm. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just meditating, man. I'm just getting closer and closer to the time stream, you know? Just... 
Janus? Uh, uh, wait, uh, hmm? yeah, yeah, yeah. Janus? Anything to say to your beloved professor, your teacher? You know what? Believe it, teach. You know, you know what? Thank, thanks, bro. And then we, we've been ha we've been hanging out for a while. Uh, but you know, just thanks, thanks for all the, uh, the good times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you'll doc. Don't worry. We'll zoom back in time, as every chronomancer will, to get you two as well, Max and Opal. But we'll doc. Um, I guess one of you will probably do like that weird like bro hug where you grab one hand and like slap on the back with your professor. Maybe you'll shake his hand. I don't know how you leave him. Uh, but you exit the boat and are immediately greeted uh, by a very, very handsome man. As you dock on this island, you see those three towers uh, much closer than they were before. And he goes, hey, man, how you doing? Welcome to your first day at the University of the Wandering Isle. How you doing, man? It's a human. How you doing? How you doing, bro? Um, yeah. So do you know where I can crash? I, I know it's the first day. I don't know what we're doing today, but... Oh, you got orientation going on. You just got to make your way over there, and he'll point towards a large crowd of different raced people, minotaurs, dwarves, uh, halflings, humans, lots of more humans than most uh, other races, but there is a very diverse group here, more than you've probably ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, no knows, doubt, no yeah. doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, no. Uh... There's plenty of places to crash, man. My name's Todd. I'm head of the clerics fraternity. Uh, you know, most holy in the love and peace, brah. You know, all that shit. But yeah. uh, also war. Uh, you know, there's war clerics and whatnot in our. Oh in our shit! The fraternity. first half, the, the first half of that sentence is sick, bro. How do you, um, how do you guys uh, feel about minotaurs? Oh, we got minotaurs here. Yeah, they. Uh, there's a couple no, minotaurs I mean, like, in the invocors. That's another fraternity here on campus. Yeah. Because like, if you think about it, right, it's just like a bull who like got f fucked a lady. Is that like cleric -y? Is Whoa, that, like... Bro. what? Whoa, Janus. no, they're pretty wow. dumb, man. That's why they're invokers. Like, they can only shoot fireballs out their hands. You know, they're not not too bright. Unlike Janus, us clerics that, who are. Woke. That was. That was like a. That was like a microaggression, bro. Like that was. Yeah. It's not was cool, it, man. Did I dog whistle? I felt like it. I'd be honest. Felt real like it. But, uh, you know, head in. Uh, go, uh, you know, stand in that crowd, and you should uh, hear from the uh, the dean of the university here in a second. So uh, go on in. And uh, you two can make your way there as we zoom in back in time to our other two characters who are on this boat. Uh We'll start with you two probably separately, because I think uh, Opal has to talk with her parents, so we'll give a roll for that to see who goes first. Uh, Opal will go first as we uh, lock in on Opal. Uh, who do we see as we see Opal? I guess I should ask that of Lock, Rockford, and Janos, but we'll talk about that in a moment as well. As we have your pictures up, too, they can kind of see what you look like on the screen. Um, okay, so I'm like a somewhat... Uh tanned skin all right like a uh, lady wearing basically all black with a staff and a backpack and i have like the horns of a dead animal like strapped to my head with some gems on it okay as we zoom in on you we see you talking to two uh human individuals uh one is a woman and one is a man uh the woman has blood paint so does the man over their eyes and their mouth, kind of making some strange symbology. They wear dark hooded clothes, uh, kind of keeping to the shadows of the ship as they stare down at you. Uh, your father and mother both have these oaken staves that hold various human bones attached to every side of it. And they will whisper to you, Opal, your father will say, I have great expectations for you. Do not fail your mother and I, or you will never be invited into the circle. Never. Um, uh, I, I hope not to let you down. I promise. We will wear your bones proudly if you fail with honor. Trying to kill the humans who destroy and desecrate as they have on this island. This university is a purge on the world. I very much agree. I very much agree. Your mother will put her hands on you. Now, Opal, just stroking your face, your father, you know, he, he means well. You're going to succeed and join in killing the mortals with us. You know us druids live a long time, and if you don't succeed, you'll die of old age. 
She strokes your face. That'll be bad. Well, thank you, Mummy. Yes. She'll pat you on the head. Now off with you. The ship is docking. And uh, you can go towards the gangplank, but uh, we'll shift over to uh, Aldo uh, or Maxton, who is our character here. Yes. Maxton, what do you look like? Maxton is young and skinny, and he is wearing uh, very dirty robes. But he is here with his father. Ah, what is your father? Who does he look like? He's just some guy. He's just some guy. He is a druid. He is the druid Mm. of the tunnels below the mountain. And he is hoping that I get to learn here what I need to become his replacement. Well, well. My son. He puts his hand on you. Your father's blonde locks kind of flowing through the wind. His nice orange uh, kind of like lion pelt he wears. It has been a long time. And I am growing old. And you need... You need to accomplish what I will not be able to do. You must guard our realm underground, protecting it from all the nefarious surface dwellers. The dwarves, of course, are underground, so be on the lookout for those folk here. They will not like you, and you should not like them. I'm sure I can handle Mm. myself. And one more thing, son. Hmm? While you're here, I know you have an affinity for... The three kin in the, uh, the rest. Okay, that's head. enough, Dad. So, son, I just need to say, I don't no, disapprove, that's fine, Dad. but you know, oh, people I think, are I think judgmental there, in life. Dad. In life, people are judgmental, Listen, and I don't want you. Son, great time here. son, I'll I just write, don't I'll want you, you to be seen as you. the bug fucker. I'll, I'll you, be Dad. honest. Goodbye, I don't, Dad. I don't want, goodbye, son, I love, I just, I didn't mean it. And I was working my staff, and I take my staff from my dad, and I, son. Run to catch up with my friend, Opal. Okay, bye bye. Catch up with Opal at the gangplank as you walk out onto the shore. Uh, as you do, you're not greeted by the handsome man. Instead, there is a group of uh, humans and elves and half elves kind of intermingled, all of them uh, moderately attractive. Uh, but they are almost completely naked, only wearing leaves over their uh, necessities. And they'll they'll hand uh, a pamphlet to you as you enter. Uh, this woman with long blonde hair, it looks like a half elf. And greets the two of you speaking to you goes hello welcome to the university uh my name is uh tree hugger and i am here to tell you the great word of peace and prosperity between man and nature we're with the druid fraternity uh here's our flyer it doesn't have any words on it it's just a symbol of a leaf because we can't read uh but uh here you go wow, join a fraternity thank you. yeah hands one to opal as well this uh rosy-cheeked, uh, half-elf kind of smiles. Do you guys believe in pacifism and love? Uh, I believe in something, all right. Um, Opal, Opal, how do you respond? Um, I'll be frank, no. Um, and you can keep your fucking leaflet. Oh, a bit of a dark horse. Well, don't worry, we'll turn that frown upside down. Should okay. Yeah. Opal, what, were those your parents back there? They look kind of intense. I've never seen them before. Uh, yeah, they're just like uh, a bit weird, you know? Like they're alternative. Mm, okay. So you guys can see my facial reactions. <laughs> well, uh, you will continue um, towards the, uh, the mainstay of this place. Um, you see that large crowd gathering, and as you shuffle in, to go to the orientation that you're all supposed to attend. Um, I think you'll probably shuffle next to each other, maybe unnaturally or naturally. You see, who do we see as we, these two meet Lock Rockford and Janus, at least in sight? What do they see, Lock Rockford? Let's go first. No? Looks like I'm chewing on something. Yeah, we'll go with Janus first as you finish it. So what you see is uh, a very uh, lightweight human. Uh, he's not a very strong guy. He's uh, he's, he's got dark skin and like no melanin in his hair. I wonder why. No one knows. 
Uh, he's got red eyes. If he wears goggles, you can't really see him really well. Can't. Um. And that's that's kind of that's that's the vibe. Okay, Lock Rockford. Yes, you see like a tall gray elf. He's like six four, but like a hundred and ten, under ten, hundred and five pounds. He looks pretty lanky, but like he's wearing a green poncho. Um, he has he, but he just have a spell book on his side, and and some go He's wearing goggles, like some shaded goggles for some reason during the daylight. Okay. As we zoom in on that, uh, you guys standing in this crowd, you'll see a variety of different races here. Do you guys speak to each other at all, or do you just awkwardly shuffle next to each other? Uh, you can choose what you do. I have no preference. Um, I look at Maxton, expecting him to uh, approach other people for me. Mm. I look at Ophal. <laughs> and I sigh, and I look around, and I see this weird-ass-looking kid with the white hair. And I go out to him and ask, "Are you like an albino?" <laughs> I screw up my face, dude. You can't just ask if he's an albino. How would I be but... an albino when I'm brown? Why do you have white hair? Why do you? You have brown hair. I don't know. Don't be racist. What the hell's wrong with you? Right. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I feel like I'm being attacked for being white-haired right now. You'll hear don't a you voice know this from is a college behind. campus. You'll hear a voice from behind you. Uh, it's that handsome guy again. He goes, "Yeah, man." He'll put his shoulder or his hands are uh, like between all of your shoulders, trying to, like, spread out between the two group of you guys. Yeah, that's not cool. We don't abide by any racism here, brah. It's not dope. It's not no cool, doubt. man. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I like no, this no. guy. He points to Lock Rockford. He's got yeah. the roll? Can I roll something to have, like, an insect crawl from, like, my robes onto his arms? Uh, yeah. Give me, give me a wisdom check as you produce a spider from your, uh, from your arm or maybe an ant. So it is your wisdom. Uh, so D twenty plus your wisdom score, which is uh, That's right. shoot. He was looking for a twenty one or higher. So it's one D twenty plus fourteen. Yep. A thirty. Ah, uh, yeah. You can have a couple of bugs crawl out. What are they doing? I just have a couple of spiders like just crawl up his arm. He goes, oh, oh, what the hell, man? Oh, you got bugs. Oh, oh dude. Shit. Law and oh. justice does not abide by this. This is gross. Hey, Lock Rockford. Stay without my consent. Come by the cleric house if you're a cleric. But otherwise, man, stay away. You can hang out with some weird people. He'll uh, walk off into the distance. <laughs> um, you see the stage before you. Is there any light conversation continued here, or is it just uh, nothing else? I, I sniff the air around Lock Rockford. You smell yeah. kind of funny. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I haven't washed these clothes in a little bit of time. They still smell like pipe That's weed. not what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, six. What's your name? Uh, my name's Lock. Hey, Lock, my name is Max, and this is my friend Opal. So, I know. Hi, nice to meet you, bros. Do you have a plug, or are you the plug here? Uh, my, my folks didn't let me bring it, didn't like let me bring any when I came when I came on the boat. So I'm gonna find some here, but I'll, I'll let you know if I, if I find a dealer. Yeah, hit us up. We'll talk later. Oh, sick, sick. Okay. As you guys speak, eventually you will hear a <clears throat> from the front as it kind of booms over the audience. Uh, there's clearly some magical effect making the voice at the the head stage a little louder. And uh, you will hear an old man. As you look up, you see another gray-bearded man with a wizard hat, and he's got glasses that are very thick. He looks to be in his 80s. 
As he speaks up, he goes, Hello, students, and welcome. Here you will see my faculty around me, and you will see a variety of races. Um, probably what stands out at this moment, uh, most importantly, is there's a small halfling in a tuxedo next to him, and behind him signing some words is what appears to be a treekin, a treekin as well, who is kind of signing words <clears throat> to whatever the person is saying. Um, none of you are sign language, but uh, this guy is clearly a sign language interpreter, uh, on first Why glance not? at least. I nudge Aldo and point at the Trekin and kind of like, you know, like, give him the eye. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. He will continue to go, yes, yes. Here at the University of the Wandering Isle, you will experience friendship in a love of magic. For all of it is grand and wonderful. Because here we embrace the spirit of love in eternal passion. Uh, and as he's speaking, can I get all of you to roll perception, uh, which is your bottom stat almost off your sheet uh, in your right below all your other stats, it should be. Um, so a d20 plus your perception. Uh, it's in the notes section below the stats. Sebastian rolls a 20, looking for a 21 or higher, just as a note. Okay, clap trap. Oh, I found it. There we go. So we got a pass from Maxton so far. Everyone else has failed their check. And a pass from Mr. Uh, Jonas. Janos. And uh, you will see as this old man is speaking about friendship and love, the halfling next to him begins to scowl. It's a, it's a male halfling. He looks to be very stumpy and short, and he will slowly, from his uh, waistband, those of you who passed your perception check, pull out a flintlock pistol. Is there any reaction to this? Uh, oh shit, I got one of those. I have no idea what that is, so I have okay. no reaction yet. Uh, Genos, you passed, so any reaction? Um, I want to instantly cast... Because now I get to save the school from a shooter, right? I'm gonna instantly. I'm gonna cast um, the shrink on it on the gun. You're gonna cast uh, reduce. Reduce. Uh, yeah. I'll give a saving throw for the gun. Or the gun stats. The gun passes its saving throw, so it does not shrink. But you, you begin to cast a spell. You gain some attentions from some of the students around you, including your party. Uh, but as you do that, as you cast the spell, you see the man look directly at you. But he still moves the gun upwards, and you see him point right towards what who was just introduced, likely as the dean, this long white bearded man, and shoot him through the head. And uh, here, Lard. Pow! will go off as uh, the man falls to his side. The interpreter's hands st continue to move. There's a gasp through the crowd in the halfling. Oh, shit. I didn't know there was going to be a, a show. And the halfling will speak up. Did you all really believe that? As you see the man, the old man, bleeding out on the floor. The halfling in the tuxedo looks to all of you. You believe this was a university about love and friendship? Yes! I... I don't... I don't no. know. I was hoping not. This is about the study of magic. I could give less of a shit if you like it here. You are here to learn spells and magic and winning and being the best. All I care about is your grades. You will be put into groups, but not so you can work together, so that you are motivated... To work harder, the small halfling will speak. As you look at him, you see little red eyes. He begins to unfurl his hair, and you see as he rubs against it. Uh, what was nice, like a nice brown tuft hair, he looked pretty innocent before, begins to become like a black and gray spotted hair, and he uh, begins to look more sinister. This, like, four-foot halfling walks around the stage with his hands behind his back, his eyes coyed. And I will expect the best from you. And here... Do you know what failure means, freshman? Do you? Death. It means death. Who is that? What is your name, girl? Opal. Opal. She understands. Failure here means death. And not even in a figurative way, or like a, oh, you could die on adventuring. If you are at the bottom of your class as a collective group that are you selected into, 
You know what happens to you? We die? We die. He'll gesture a hand towards something, uh, and everyone kind of peers over towards this direction, and you see in the ground a large pit begins to drift open as the earth itself moves. You see this pit open up, and you hear a large from below the earth as he headmaster speaks up the the uh, dean of this university if you become at the bottom of your class or lose in the yearly tournament to your betters you will be sacrificed to the tarask below the university whoa what the fuck yeah neat because this we don't in the brochures. Okay, I'm like, it was not in like, the brochures. What say? Give give reaction. Sorry, I kind of interrupted. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, it's like fall guys. You know. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised that this wasn't in the brochures. Yes. Not chill at all, bro. This is interesting. Every year, you will have a tournament. Beyond your grades that you will receive every semester, this tournament will decide who lives and who dies yearly. Of course, usually our favorites to win are the fraternities as they work more in cohesive groups, but it is also likely that a group of students may succeed against a fraternity. I hope for your sakes that you survive because otherwise you're failures and you don't deserve to live. I am the headmaster here. Don't ask me many questions. My name is Bogwagons, the headmaster. And you've already been tricked by this illusion. And he'll point to the dead uh, other headmaster that you assumed was probably the dean of this university. Uh, and the sign language interpreter will actually stop signing. And he will say, this trick in here is Balder. Baldar is our illusionist, our head illusionist at this school. Your first lesson here is that one, failure is not acceptable. Your second is that you shouldn't believe everything you see. But this is a magic place in a magic time. Trust no one. Trust nothing. Third, get good grades. Every, for us, session... Every midterm and final, you will have to pass, which means you guys have to pass your prime attribute score, or there will be repercussions. Perhaps, if you do well, you will receive points to spend at the cafeteria or school store. And if that happens, congratulations, you will become uh, better equipped to deal with things in the future. We are a meritocracy here. You will receive rewards for your successes. Other than that, I suggest you join a fraternity or student organization on campus because those also count towards your final grades. With that being said, you are free to go about your business. If you have any other questions, find a member of the faculty. Damn, dude, that was harsh. These, this early week will be spent as Hell Week for the fraternities and student organizations. If you'd like to join one, you free to tour. He will gesture towards what look to be six uh, strange and wacky buildings scattered across uh, the campus. Those are the fraternities. The student organizations can be found in A-Wing or F-Wing, and he'll gesture to two large buildings that are not the towers. The highest and most prestigious uh, of us will be in our ivory towers, and he'll gesture towards the large three towers. Uh, you are not allowed in until you become at least sophomores, so stay out. And uh, he will leave you to your business as we can go back to our uh, cheery music. As uh, people begin to disperse, heading towards those buildings, heading towards the two large buildings. So, guys, you're together in the square. Uh, what do you do? All right, what I want to do right now is I want to avoid hazing. So I want to go find out how many people I need to start a fraternity. 
Uh, I'm gonna go look for a uh, pipe weed dealer. Okay. Um, I wanna the room they spoke about. I wanna pull Aldo towards it, or Maxton towards it. Um, the room with the fraternities in. Okay, you'll head towards the uh, houses with the fraternities. There's six houses. Uh, Claptrap, uh, we'll start with you since you spoke first. You go to find someone to talk to about starting a fraternity. Uh, you will walk towards the nearest probably professor uh, that you see or faculty member. Uh, you will see a human elf who is very pale. And uh, they look at you as you approach. Hello? Yo, uh, listen. Um, I want to know, like, what I need to do to start my own fraternity. Like, what's the deal with that, Doc? Oh, uh, yes. To start your own fraternity, you need uh, four uh, members, approximately, and uh, a house. You need to have access to one of the houses. There is only one available. Uh, it's over on the row at the very end, and he'll point towards a dilapidated house that is falling apart very clearly. Uh, it looks to be two stories and uh, has these wooden pillars that hold it up in the front. Okay. All right. Yes. I'm a so, cow, by the way. So. The divine. Okay. So I just need to. Who do I talk to to sign myself up then? To like you, sign up. You can talk to any faculty member to be your uh, your uh, associate on campus that will uh, essentially approve the paperwork and check in from time to time to make sure you're okay. I could be that person if you would like. Malakas. Malakas. All right. All right, this sounds lit. Listen, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find some people for that. We're gonna avoid Hell Week, buddy. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it by um, mm. by yes. working our way around it. Okay. We're gonna do. <laughs> and I leave, and I want to go find people for this fraternity. As many people as I can. As you do that, you will go petition people. Uh, Lock Rockford, you go looking for a dealer. How do you find a dealer on campus? What do you look for? I'm looking for people who smell like pipe weed. You're walking through this crowd looking for people who smell like pipe weed, and you will find a one-foot-tall pixie in a leather jacket flapping his little wings, and he appears to smell a lot like pipe weed. He's hey, bro. Glasses on as well, thick, rimmed, and very shaded. Hey, what's up, man? Um, what's up, bro? Hey. hey, I was wondering, uh, you got, got any pipe weed? Yeah, I do. Name's Conehold Steelheart. Hey, my name's Locke. What, what's up? What's up? So, uh, how much for an ounce? An ounce of, ounce of what? Crystal Rush or, uh, Flush Green? I'm looking for a more mellow, mellow mm, eye. Some mellow yellow, huh? All right. Get you some of that. Hey, first sample's free, but send your friends here, man. I got a business to run, and he'll uh, he'll give you a small baggie of uh, this yellow goop. Have uh, fun, uh, brah. Stay wait, safe. Wait, wait, wait. wait, some. Wait, this is pipe weed. Nah, it's mellow yellow. No, no, I was looking for a mellow high. He'll uh, just like walk away, weed. leaving you with the buddy. Wait, no, uh, please. <laughs> he'll, he'll walk. He's uh, fly away. Sorry, in his little wings. I gotta go, brah. Got customers to see. You can come see me. I'm at, uh... Oh, I'm at the Dark Hearts house. He points to the fifth house on the row. Looks to be a completely black house made of obsidian. Two stories as well. Uh, Alright, um... Cool. Um, come buy some time, brah. I continue my quest for pipe weed, okay. but this time I cast Precognitive Sense. You cast Precognitive Sense... Uh, is there any associated roll? Where is the spell card for that? Um, I think you would have to roll a d100. If it's below 10, 10 or below, uh, then I'm yes. getting wrong information. Because I don't think I should know that. You take your precognitive sense. You try and look into the future, and you see a dilapidated house with four people. One with white hair, your friend, Janos. And then you see two others. You, you're having trouble recalling... If you know them or not, you think you do, though. Uh, they both look to be uh, people with stabs, and they look kind of more wild than you'd expect. 
Oh which shit! Is a okay. Dilapidated house. Damn, Genos has it. Okay. And okay. you see so yourself I... though as well, smoking pipe weed in that house, and you feel happier, happier than you've ever been, at least for a moment. Oh shit! Okay, so I, I go look for I go look for Genos. Like, oh shit! So if I go hang out with Genos right now, I'll go <laughs> find some. Okay. Like, go look for him. You will go hang out with Genos. Uh, Maxton and Opal will uh, shift over to you as you go to the row of houses. The first house on the row is a house literally on fire. Um, it looks to be made of mostly stone, but on the top you see wood that is on fire. Uh, and uh, in the front, there will be a large minotaur with his arms crossed, stopping anyone from coming in. He goes, what's up, as you two approach? What do you want with us? Hey, we're looking to join our frat, maybe? Okay, show me a burning hands or a magic missile. Let's see it. With druids. <laughs> this is the Invocors, man. This is the best house on campus. Invokers. Yeah. You seem like a bit of an asshole. Shall we move on, Maxton? He'll stroke his horns. Yeah. Let's uh, walk away. Okay, so the next... next, next. The next house you'll come to, you see that handsome guy you saw before who put his arms around you, Todd, who is, uh, he's got that nice kind of like just subtle beard. He's got uh, bright blonde hair. And uh, yeah, he'll uh, look to the two of you as you approach. He goes, hi, uh, yeah, you guys, what's up? How you doing? What you doing at the clerical house? Peace and justice in the uh, Idmarian way. I'm gonna look him up and down, and then just grab Aldo's arm and keep keep walking. Okay. You walk away from Todd. You walk away. <laughs> the next house you come to appears to be made of some sort of strange crystal that reflects off the surface. Again, two stories. Um, you'll see a woman with long brown hair. She's got big round glasses. Her eyes magnified like three times their actual size under the glasses. Um, purple robes. She looks up at you and goes, Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm I'm Esmeralda. Hello, Esmeralda. We're looking to join a frat. What is your status offer? Oh, we're the Diviners. Uh, we can uh, see things as they truly are. We are the are brightest, the best, the most uh, austatious and wonderful on campus yeah 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 we're great um we have the highest true? grades here in terms of classes although we usually fail at the tournament uh we do really well here yeah mm -hmm. why did you fail at the tournament oh every team we've sent has died uh they usually don't learn combat spells and so you know we look into the f look into the observable space around us and try and plan out as best we can but at the end of the day uh we get fireballed I'm going to grab Maxton's arm and walk away. Okay. Yeah, we probably should go somewhere where they have a defense against fireballs. You go to the next house. Uh, it is the Dark Hearts, that black obsidian house. Outside of it, you'll see a tiefling who has bright red skin and little horns and a tail. Smoking what looks to be a large cigar. It's a female. And uh, you'll look at her. She'll go, "What's up?" She yeah, approach. we're looking for. We're looking to join a frat. You want to join the dark arts? Maybe. What do you guys have to offer? Blood and fire. We summon the demons. We kill demons. people That's daily. Nice. Do drugs, rock and roll. For what dark reason? Hearts. For the sake of debauchery and death and pleasant slumber of the, the voices and screaming of our enemies. Smoke that. Take a puff of the large cigar the female does. And how do, do you, you do in the way? tournaments? We fare well in the tournaments. The only ones wait, who can wait, compete with us are the Invocors. Wait, we got Pipeweed, pipe we got Mellow Yellow, we got Crystal Crack. Got it all. But what have you done? Why would you... Do you want to join us? Is that why you're here? Look pretty, pretty tame for us. You don't even have a tattoo. 
I um I pull Maxton to the side, um, and I basically say like, we can't protect the mountain with these people. They're too destructive. This won't benefit us. But that pipe weed, dude. We're here for a reason. <laughs> okay. Fine. You come to that last house, and we'll zoom back out from you guys to Genos and Lock Rockford. Genos, you've been walking around asking people uh, to join your fraternity. Uh, give me a charisma check to see how that's going, and give me what you say to these people to try and recruit them, as you try and recruit everyone you see, as you've said you've tried to recruit the most people you can. Genos, you there? Making sure. All right, so add it's a d20 plus my your charisma, charisma score. Right? Looking for at least a 21 or higher. Lock Rockford shuffles in behind you as this happens. His green poncho flowing in the wind. 25. 25. Uh, you start asking people, they go, yeah, yeah, what fraternity are you a part of? You ask them to join. And I go, listen, <clears throat> I'm going to start pulling shit on my ass here. Uh, I'm going to start a fraternity. We're going to call it the, uh, the, the infinite, no, the, the mighty owls. We're going to call it the Mi mighty owl fraternity, the mighty, the mighty right? Owl. So the They're idea is... Fraternity. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting a fraternity. Here's here's the idea, though, right? Do you have any seniors? Right? Sophomores? Juniors? I don't have anyone yet, yet, right? So here's the thing. He's got you me. Be first, right? You'd be, you'd be you. in on the ground floor, right? But think think about it, right? Think about this, right? Ground floor, you get to avoid Hell Week because we won't be doing that. This is the first guy you're talking to. He goes, look, buddy, I'm going to level with you. I'm a sophomore here. It's a human. Just a regular-looking human. Put his arm on your, on your uh, shoulder. Or his hand on your shoulder. Buddy, if you're going to keep asking people to join a fraternity like this, I won't tell, but uh, they're going to they're gonna cream you. Like, you're literally going to get killed. Why do you think there's only five fraternities right now? They don't abide by competition. Oh, wow. <clears throat> but, okay. That's you got to get some brave motherfuckers who don't fit in to join this shit. I won't join this shit. Look, I'm not a part of any fraternity. Listen, you know what it sounds I like, keep buddy? My head down, you know? You know what it sounds like, buddy? It sounds like you're a massive fucking okay. pussy. All right. How about you? Uh, how about you buckle up, right? And actually do something for a change. Right. Okay. Uh, buddy, look, I I tried to help you, and he starts to walk away. I, I, I go, I go to, I go to Janice. Like, no, 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 fuck these guys, bro. I already know we're gonna get like two other people. They look weird. They look rad. All right. Then I, I, I grab Janice. Like, okay, follow me, follow me. And I go look for the two people I saw in my dream. Okay, you go looking for them, and uh, you see them standing in front of that dilapidated house, uh, maxed in an opal. Oh, it's those dudes, and this is the house. Sick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I walk up to the two of them. I look you up and down. What? Oh, you I, uh, look, oh. it looks like you found our uh, our fraternity house, and I want to cast enlarge on the house, so it looks really it's, that's, it's huge. That's your last spell today, just as a note. That's fine. This is this is this is charisma. This is this is I'm selling this. I'm the house passes its saving throw. <laughs> Fuck! I go. <laughs> that I bet that that I, that looked really cool, didn't it? I didn't do anything, but it looked really cool, right? Listen. What does it look like uh, when you cast enlarge? By the way, what do you do to cast? I am. Um, it's verbal, semantic, and material. So. I do hand signs and. <laughs> okay. I do quick, I do quick hand signs, right? And I, uh, I point at it, right? All right. And oh, yeah. that's it. Cool. Wait, I, I I have spellcraft, so I've been noticing what's happening. <laughs> Yep. Oh, like, like uh, Janice, I, I know so, you keep trying to enlarge stuff, but like, it, I don't think this is working for you. Maybe you should try a different, different school. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe abjuration. Maybe, maybe you should shut the fuck up, bitch. All right. Uh, I'm oh, 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 buddy, buddy. Okay. But maybe abjuration isn't your thing, I'm trying, man. Listen, I'm gonna solve. Listen, all right, you two. Um, listen, join our fraternity, right? Which we are about to start, and um, we might end up. Avoiding that hell week shit. Oh, not only that, but and then like, apart from that, you can do whatever the fuck you want. 
Um, yep. To be fair, we can avoid Hell Week just by not joining a fraternity. Yes, but yes, but, but that's not within your best interest. Think about what the um, headmaster said. He said we want to, right? Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think, I'm, I think we should take this seriously, and uh, do and do and take his advice, right? Everything little advantage counts here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, there's one thing I want. Um, what do you I want? Kind of embarrassing. Okay. I can't read. Okay. You're gonna have to teach me how to read. I. You know what? Luke Rockford, he's an amazing teacher, and he's super chill. Like, he's so chill, you know? Like, he's, like, the chillest guy. I think yeah. you met him. He's, like, super Speaking chill. Speaking of words... Oh, I, like how, I like how I'm teaching you how to read again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's sick. And plus, you know, I can see the future, and I know you guys already joined it. So, like, the future's set in stone, man. Like, you're already gonna join us. It's gonna be cool. Oh. Like, just do, as a do quick you know note, we survive the first week here? Just as well, a quick well, note, he smells like pipe weed, guys. <laughs> he well, well, okay, okay, well. So, I didn't see that far into it. I just saw, like, us with this house. All four of us. And let's think about this. You guys don't, I... Now that you got into the last house in the row, I think you guys don't really fit into any one group. So, why, why not form a group of people who don't fit into any groups? Have you found any pipe weed yet? I found something called Mellow Yellow. It seems pretty harsh. That'll do. Okay, I'm in. Opal, are you in? Um... Okay, I'm okay with joining, but if we don't win the fucking tournament, I will literally destroy this house. Well, we'll okay, but dead, right? with it, if you don't win the tournament, we're gonna we'll die either way. Yeah. So, as you, yeah. As you all make your intentions known while you're having this conversation, you'll hear a voice in your heads. The pact has been sealed, and the house's doors will swing open. And you'll see oh, no. inside darkness. Uh, for you, those of you with InfraVision, you see a lot of cobwebs and dilapidated furniture. <laughs> but the house will swing open. All right. Uh, we did it. Cobwebs. Spider guy must love it here. Um. This is a shithole. Yeah. Okay. Better get to work. Enter me. Believe it. Uh, Come that's inside creepy, though. my bowels. It's kind of creepy. So why is the house talking? Yeah, it what it's being weirdly sexual. Well, I'm pretty used to entering bowels. So it's walking me. I uh. Yeah, yeah, I, sure. I, I push Maxton forward. You're, you're used to dark spaces. Off you go. Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess I've been in a bowel or two. Mm. Let's go. And you're I. Waltz right in. <laughs> You'll feel pretty comfortable as you enter the darkness. You see a variety of spiders and maybe a couple cockroaches uh, hanging around Ooh. on the ground that you can pick up and like put into your robes for you know, spare <laughs> spare bugs in case you need them. I sure do. I sure do. You guys do I have see to roll this? For that? No, you just grab them. Yeah, they'll come up okay, to you. Okay, thank you. They're your friends. Thank you. These tiny bugs won't do much in any combat situation, but they can crawl around on you as you hang around. <laughs> but uh, you, unless you do the swarm uh, at. Uh, third level you will walk around so, this dilapidated house there appears to be uh, a main room and four rooms on the bottom same on the top uh, that can be used for any purpose and you walk towards the hearth and you'll see the fireplace kind of light up as you enter and begin to speak hello welcome thank you are you the house I am your house together we will grow in power, and you will make me restored to my once known prominence. Right, yeah. I'll. We'll do that. Guys, the fireplace is speaking to me. My name is Harthy. I, I walk in, walk towards the fire, um, look down at it, and I say, So what are you gonna do? I can provide for you, I will make you whole. And warm. I put my head in my hands. Ah, uh, cool. Right, cool I want to walk in. I'm gonna go. What's up? All right. Listen, house. Uh, I'm in charge around here. All right. Oh no! Wait, and, wait. Uh, what? And yeah, uh, in all fairness, I feel like we should put this to a vote. Uh, 
do I get a vote? The fireplace will smack up and down. Only oh, people get absolutely. votes. No, 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 no. 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 Only people get votes. Wait, whoa, whoa. And he's a person too. He's a person. He's cautious. I am two entities. Um, I'm I... both the founder and a member, so I'm two entities. I get two votes. The house doesn't get a vote. Let's vote. I uh, I disagree with you not letting the house vote on principle that it is a part of nature. And if you don't let the house vote, I'm walking out of here. Alright, I'll let it vote as long as I get two votes as lo uh, since I am, I am, I am an entity. So I vote for Harthy. I also vote for Harthy. This is voter suppression. Two votes for Harthy. This is voter suppression. Um, okay, well. Which I Harthy? I think if 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 I'm the, if I'm the leader, I can bring a bring a pretty chill vibe, you know. I can provide pipe weed, and I can see the future. I think it's a lot you of. You didn't provide pipe weed. You gave us mellow yellow. Harthy well, uh... should be the leader. Oh, wait, I wait, can I, provide I, pipe weed. I smelled. Oh really? <laughs> Look, one oh, bag geez, was... that was... is under Listen, my rafters. That was... A no, student should... threw it up when he was trying to hide it from an advisor. I can get it I for you. I race for the rafters. I race for the um, rafters. <laughs> you race for the rafters. <laughs> Will I you find the, the pipe I weed make, there? I make I the wanna, I want to defend myself here, right? I have already proven to be the guy who solves problems, all right? I don't know why I'm not the leader here. All right, why would you make it a fucking house? Okay. All right, it's not even, like, human. I'll right? be frank. Whoa, whoa. Um, whoa. I've already watched you fail to cast two spells today. I will be voting for the house. You... Harthy, that's winning vote. Just... Harthy is leader of fraternity. Finally, this has never <laughs> happened before. This Whoa. is some fucking bullshit. Okay, wow. Well, okay, that, that, that's, 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 pipe weed. That, that's kind of sick. Um, <laughs> all right. Just, um, um, whatever. So, okay, we'll have we'll have some we'll have an election every semester, depending on let's make some rules. Election every semester, depending on who's providing for what, just in case. Uh, and then, yeah, now let's figure out a name. I can set up term limits. If I get leader, I'm destroying those. Friends. Hey, uh... You uh, must friends... register us. Also, pick your room. Um, is there any chance we could rename the uh, fraternity the Hearth? Because it makes sense, given our leader. That makes sense, Hearthy will speak up. How do you all feel? I care about your feelings while you're in my bowels. I, uh, see, I, see, as the founder and person who picked the original name, I think we should stick with the original name. Uh... I'll be honest, I don't even remember the original name. I think the yeah, heart it's the, is it's, better. But it was yeah. the owl, the owl squad or something? The owl team? <laughs> team <laughs> doesn't even remember his own name. <laughs> team <laughs> Oh, God. Whatever, my vote has been cast. Hearthy votes for the hearth. The hearth. The hearth. Oh my god. We are the hearth! And you'll hear an <laughs> echo throughout the campus. I'm gonna we're have a big... If we're going to be inhabiting this uh, house named Hearthy, then we might as well, like, be in its good graces. Hey, uh, oh, hey, just Hearthy. listen. I'm, I'm Hearthy. all about Hearthy. I am nothing against you. I'm just out here. I'm trying to acquire my power. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. I'm gonna stack my dough. I'm just trying to get mine, dog. Respect. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. I asked, I asked Max then for the pipe weed, so I was like, "Yo, man, I'm pretty good at herbalism. We can start like a, a farm in one of these rooms." I swear to fuck, dude. If you smoke all these pipe weed, I will get you. We I can grow pipe more. weed in my bowels. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Hearthy. But okay. first, before I can perform my magic to fix it up for you, the basement is where you must go. The creatures lie below creatures. around my magic crystal. What kind of creatures, Hearthy? They are sticky. In icky, in thicky. Then are they a bowl, uh, of, a bowl of snicky? Quick question. Um, yes. Are they dangerous at all? I believe they are somewhat dangerous, although I do not know a lot about them. They are sticky, in icky, in thicky, as I have stated. 
Can I roll a knowledge, like a check, to like know what that means? Because I'm thinking, I I think I know what that means. Are you using like a lore? Or are you using what are you using? I think I have I have lore, right? Yeah, I think I'm using lore. Let me look at your sheet just to make sure. Uh, One second. You, have ancient ancient history. History. you can roll that with an int check, I believe, is ancient history, unless I'm incorrect. So give me an int check. Intelligence. So that's 13. Okay. There's, there's also a minus one to end the int, uh, what was it called? The ancient history check. If you have the proficiency. Yes. So it's a minus one. So that is, is it a minus one in the book, Noam? Yeah. That's a plus one rolling up then, because that would usually be a minus. So. Got it. And in terms of good. For so 13 plus one? Yep. You're looking for 21 or higher? So 14. You rolled a 14, or are you saying yes? You roll a I'm adding, plus 14. So I'm adding 14. Yep. Yeah, okay. That did not add, but we can work with it. It's a 17. Uh, that's a fail. Can I, can I roll an ancient history check? Do you have ancient history, too? I do. I have so many persons. Okay, we'll give one more, but this is our last. Usually it's only one person who rolls, so keep that in mind. Oh, Locke Rockford, where Janos forgot, you remembered. Uh, you've heard tales of a bunch of sticky, icky, and thicky creatures out there. Uh, you know, there's oozes, there's gelatinous cubes, there's mud men. Uh, there's a whole Coops. variety of different cubes. I, you know, work with me here. Work with your DM, okay? <laughs> or cubes are now named cubes now, so that's it. We're done. Okay. So there might be some uh, cubes or cubes. I don't know. There, there, there's some debate about that in the histories, but yeah, they're pretty much slime monsters. Uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty ready to fight them if we have to go down there right now. Anyone got any suggestions? Anyone got any qualms against fighting them? Do they All have right. any weaknesses we can use in our favor? I'm gonna go ahead and cast. I'm gonna cast. Um... You have no spells left today. Oh, right, spells for you. Oh, you get fuck. two per day. <laughs> two per day. One dimensionalist and one regular spell. So your spells are tapped. I'm gonna go ahead and look at you, everyone. I'm gonna go listen. I'm uh, my hands are tired here. I can't do any more hand signs. Okay, um, hi, I'm back. Hello. I'm back. Uh, so my, I, I don't. Why don't. We uh, pick our rooms first, but, but, but the and cobweb. figure out the danger shit later. I want to do the danger shit now. But the cobwebs, man. Like, I mean, like, I I don't want to get like emphysema or like dust in my lungs or whatever. I can fix the cobwebs. The hearth speaks up. If you save my crystal, my heart, to my hearth. Yeah, like we're the hearth. We should save the hearth. We should okay, protect man. our home above all. Yeah, that's like no, a one thing. We, don't we need to register first? No, it's we, automatic. We need to protect the home. Well, what if someone takes the home? We need to register it. No, no I, I, I think earlier, like when we talked about it, and said the pact has been made and announced it around the school, that like the hearth I, is I the new... I talked to an elf. I, I talked to this okay. elf guy. Homie, 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 how about this? Yeah, I'm your brother. I'm... What do you mean talk to this elf guy? I mean, that's, that's kind of unfamiliar for me. You have no more spells, so why don't you go register the house, and we'll go deal with the, like, important uh, shit. Harthy has a comment. What's, yes, Harthy. Harthy doesn't bow to the home control authorities, for they are an oppressive force trying to <laughs> put their boot on our back. They always so try to Harthy. do home control wherever we are. Standards and regulations. Harthy does not abide. Harthy is an independent building and needs no. I was gonna say man, but the man needs no the man. <laughs> so the crystal. Yeah, we're on the crystal. I like Harthy. Harthy is a good choice. All right. So leadership. what does it have? Okay, listen. Um, that's fine. You know what the fuck you want. I still we still need to register the thing, so I'm gonna go do that now. Okay. You guys go ahead and fight. Uh, I'm gonna sh just as a party note. Let's not split before we fight, please. Well, he has no shit anyway, so we'll just leave him out. But uh, you can go quickly register. You'll walk outside and see uh, the pale elf 
Malachi, Malachi, Malachi. You could, you don't. Your his name is something weird. Yo, what's uh, up, Malachi? Um, hi. Listen, uh, I took care of it. I got, I got the house. I got the, I got the peeps. Cool. Um. All right. What else do I got to do? You're done. You registered. I got you, bro. All right. Thanks, homie. You're pretty, uh, pretty efficient. Efficient. No chill. I'm just gonna... Yeah. No chill. Yeah. Yeah. You want. Never mind. Let's, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna okay. announce it on campus, though, so everyone's gonna know you've occupied that house in your new fraternity. What? How? When are you gonna do that? Tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, does that? I, so. I. I heard people are gonna try to hurt us because of this. Oh yeah, the invocors and you know all them. Okay. Dark hearts, okay. they'll come after you too. The druids right. won't. Let's be. Let's be. Let's be fair. Uh, clerics probably will but they do more of a shaming tactic uh, where they distance you from everyone socially over time through their popularity uh, okay sweet let's, let's I'm ready for them hype let's go okay you head back to your uh, hearth hearthy the house and mm -hmm. uh, you can go in and you guys can talk to hearthy he'll tell you the basement shall I open the portal uh, yeah, please. Very well. And the floor below you just disappears and you begin falling. Good luck. As Do we take damage from this? Fall about 30 feet into a large oh, uh, basin of water. You go... <laughs> as the four of you splash down into the very, very bowels, the anus of the house. Um... Claptrap, you absolutely should have used that fucking plate. As you uh, sit in this uh, uh, 30 uh, foot down pool of water, it's not enough to drown in, but none of you can swim as you probably try it first and then realize it's not uh, very deep. I can swim. You look before you into the darkness with those of you with infravision. Someone lights a torch, uh, and you see down the hallway... Uh, is a large crystal surrounded by this like weird goop. Uh, it's crystal shaped with goop all around it. The floor around it has goop all the way down the hallway to where you guys are. Just this goopy, weird, orangey, kind of like mud like substance. Uh, which of us did the torch? Who wants to hold the torch? <laughs> oh, I don't need it, though. I wouldn't be holding it. I'll I'll hold the torch and I'll okay. uh Max will hold the torch. I um I'm scared of touching the gross slime. Mm. Um I will put my finger out, swipe up the slime with my finger, um, and then put it near the torch to try and burn it. See what happens. What did you say you do? Sorry? I swipe up some of the the the, <laughs> the okay. orange tight um, with a finger, with a single finger, point your finger. As you um, prod your finger into the muddy substance, you feel a hand grab onto you from it. You see this mud-shaped hand grab you and try and pull you into it. Give me a d10. Um, we'll pick who decides who does initiative. Uh, Opal, yeah, go ahead. Give me a d10. You guys go... That's a d20. Oh, a d10, sorry. Yes, you want lower. They go at exactly 10, so it's gonna be... You go at 9, so you go before them, because lower is better on initiative. Uh, this hand grabs you. What do you do? All of you can see it. Um, uh... I shoot it. <laughs> you take out your gun and shoot it? Give me a roll to hit. You might hit Opal if you miss more. Oh, no. Fuck that. You see the, the chronomancer pull out his gun. He hits. That's an 18, guys, just for reference. And Holmes rolling off the sheet, so um, if you small you damage? scroll over it, you'll see the 18. Uh, small damage. Yep, small, medium. It's medium. It's medium. You shoot into it. You do four damage with your revolver. Can't believe I'm saying revolver. Uh, the creature does not die. But uh, you shoot into the mud, and you see a mud-like man produced from it. And behind him, you see rising from the floor 
is about 20 of these mud men. Okay. 20, uh, 20 of them, all in a row. Um, can I, uh... Can I use entangle to entangle these things, or would I just, like, slip you need, through? You need vegetation to do that, and you're not sure if it would even work. Um, you can try it, it and see if there's some sort of, like, mossy roots under this house, but you're not sure. We, oh, we have the pipe we need. <laughs> you have the pipe we need! <laughs> you, I give it to you. Because you said you could grow more. I, I, well, she's going to grow more right now. Okay, okay, so this is where we're gonna quote the pipe weed, guys. So I'm gonna ask, uh, um, Locke, I'm gonna say, Locke, give me the pipe weed. I give her some buds and seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I hold out the pipe weed and I cast my spell. I, sp I cast Entangle. I will roll its saving throw. It passes its saving throw as the vines swerve around it, although they swerve down this... Uh, Caravas, it can get about uh, two of them in at a time, as this is a very small piece of pipe weed. Um, but down this hallway, the pipe weed grows, and you see the marijuana leaves that they are kind of wrap around two of the mud men. Let's see if its second one passes. Second one also passes, but uh, they are slower now. Uh, okay, I think we have Aldo and uh, Genos left. Right. Uh,. Is there any way I can take it back off of her entangle and also entangle? Uh, you, yeah, you can spread the entangle if you'd like. I would like to do that. You, so you cast it again. Let's see if those two pass their saving throw, and we'll roll for an extra another two down the hall. Okay, uh, there's one fail, two fails. Uh, the rest uh, succeed. So the two in the back will get entangled and are stuck. The two oh. in the front, though, uh, Janos, what do you do? Claptrap. Buddy? Okay. Janos is not here, um, so we'll... Oh, there we go. Um, so how many of them save successfully got their saving throws? Uh, two in the front are not entangled, but they're slower. But they're right okay. next to you, so. Okay, so. It's just it's just a corridor, right? There's nothing in anything around me ever. Just a straight hallway. You're in a pool of water at your feet. Behind you, there is just a, a like a rounded piece of stone. Okay, I'm gonna throw that. You're gonna you're gonna. It's like cobbled stone. It's not like a rock. Oh. If you want to reach down okay. in the water, you can search for a rock if you want to throw a rock. I want to try to throw a rock. Okay. You are That's not proficient with rocks, so give me it at a uh, minus five. Because <laughs> wizards have terrible improvised weapon attacks. The d20 minus five, right? Yes. Three minus five. It'll be a 21. Three. Nope, three. Okay. It's totally wrong. Uh, no, you take a rock. Uh... <clears throat> You don't do damage, but, uh, let's see here. Uh, look. Lock Rockford, you feel at hitting the back of your head a small pebble as he throws it right into the back of your head. <laughs> oh, no. You feel pain. Uh, I'm my bad, dog. Listen, I, okay. I'm out of spells, right? I, like, I'm just, I'm trying. The creatures, who is in the front here of our party? Out of curiosity. Yeah. Inherently, I have to be because it grabbed me. True. That would make sense. The two mud men that are free will uh, attack you. What is your armor class? Out of curiosity. I don't know where you find that on the sheet. Oh, it just, uh, my ten. AC's not. Let's see your dex. Yeah, it's just 10 then. You're not wearing any armor. Don't see any armor. Yeah, we didn't add any yet. You guys will get armor eventually, but for now, you have none. Uh, one does hit you as it leaps at you. The other leaps past you into the water, and it just dissolves as it hits that water into nothingness. But the one that hits you is the one that's grabbing you, and you see the mud slink up your arm as it begins to encase your arm entirely. Uh, you feel your movement slowed by one, so instead of moving at 12, you now move at 11. 
as it encases your arm, making it very heavy. The mud just solidifies, almost like a rock on your arm, and it's heavy. You're like, oh god, as you begin to get dragged down. Okay, you guys go. There are still 18 mud men behind uh, this corridor. Do you say the other one disintegrated when it touched the water? Yes, it fell apart, almost like it became incorporeal. So uh, it's my turn to cast again now, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna cast um, that fucking the other spell that I have. That's like the one that I can't say. It looks like Shiga Dig Dig or something. Shalele. <laughs> Shalele. That's it. I wanna. I wanna cast. Uh... Shiga Dig Dig. <laughs> I like that better. Is that what you say when you cast the spell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna cast a spell and I'm gonna go shigga dig dig and I'm gonna like okay. <laughs> um, gesture with my staff at, uh, at them. You will make your staff a shillelagh. Uh, I believe you can hit in the first round with your shillelagh. Let me find that. What is that under? Uh, that is under, I believe, plant. I think. Plant. Yeah, I believe it's plant. Uh, plant. Shillelagh. There we are. Staff enables the cast to change his own oat cudgel. Unshot and staff into a magic plus one bonus and 2d4 damage opponents up to man size. Uh, okay, so uh, you can give a whack at the nearest uh, mud men if you want to run towards the entangled ones, or you can chill, chill here with your shillelagh. Um, no, I'll just run, I'll run. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. And this lasts for run round for level, so it'll only last for this one round as you go to whack it. So okay. let's give us a d20 plus one. A 12. That will hit its armor class. Give me your uh, 2d4. Ooh, you take your staff. It shines with the glow of the shillelagh. As you uh, take it, shove it through the creature, the magic on the shillelagh kind of vibrates as you push it back and forth, dissipating the middle of this creature. The large mud man, uh, if you guys are looking at my stream, it looks like uh, this kind of creature here. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah. like the Sandman from you'll, uh, uh, you'll Spider-Man. Put it between his chest cavity and shake it around. The mud man's face will go wide. It'll go Aah! and just fall apart as it tries to lean into you, falling apart. There are now only seventeen mud men left. What? Well, hey, come on, guys. Oh, Maxton, what do you do? Wait. Um. How can? It... Oh, sorry, Maxton. You go ahead. We'll go in well... order of the people on the map for now. Is there any way I can try to splash water onto them? Or is the water too far away? You can, like, cup water in your hands and try and splash one. Do you want to try that? I attempt that. I attempt that. What do I roll for that? Give me a d20. I think it's minus two for not being proficient with improvised weapons. d20 minus two. Let me make sure. It might be a minus three. You, you don't have a water proficiency? No, he doesn't. I don't. Unprepared. Unprepared. <laughs> Priest is actually minus three, sorry, so you do minus three. Okay. Oh, and eleven still hits, you take water and splash one. <laughs> Give me a D2. <laughs> you do two damage to one of the mud men as it gets hit with water. The one still stuck in the entangle will be hit with water. Uh you guys are also walking through the entangle, and I don't think you're immune to it, so I'm gonna need uh oh. Saving throws from our two guys who have run up so far. So, uh, Opal and uh, Maxton, you're looking to get below. Let me see what your save is. You guys are level one priest, so you go at uh, 15 or lower. So you're going to want to meet that or get lower than a 15. So give me d20s. You both succeed. The Ooh. entangle does not wrap around you, fortunately. Okay. Um, uh, so how do they set up? There's, you said there's 17 of them? Uh, there is uh, 17 of them left, yes. One of them is injured from the water that Aldo threw at it, dissipating some of its arm. Okay, so how, how are they, like, how is the hallway set up? Like, if I'm, if I'm right here, like, how wide is the hallway and how are they set up, like, and what way are they set up towards us? You know what I mean? What way are they set up? Yeah. Uh, they're in a straight line down this hallway. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep it. I was going to use burning hands, but that's like, is it, are they directly in front of me? 
Uh, they're directly in front of all of you. You could try and slip through being tangled to get in front of these two if you want. And do burn eh, I'll, I'll, Let's fire another shot at them. Okay, give me your gun. I think I might I actually done save wrong again. I always do that. It's fine. <sighs> um, AC of six. That's a 14. We'll hit for three damage. You're shooting the closest one. Yep. You take the one water, uh, Aldo hit with water, and you take your revolver, sh like, level it on the person in front of you, whoever that is, uh, probably Maxton or uh, Opal, and uh, you fire the gun. Um, you guys are starting to feel that your ears ring as this loud, popping smoke powder gun goes off uh, next to you. This is likely going Jesus. to eventually cause you major tinnitus issues. Uh, but uh, that mudman dissipates as he gets hit through the eye and that will go and fall over. Don't screen cap that face, please, if you ever watch this. <laughs> that was a wild face to make. Um, all right. There are only 16 left. Jonos, what do you do? All right. So did we look at what gear I have? Uh, you can have just we we didn't assign that, but what do you have? What is your weapon? A darts. Darts. Okay, we can do that. So like you want to throw kunai? a dart? You know, like kunai from. Okay. Sure, we'll call them um, darts. Um. Yeah, I want to throw a dart. Okay. Uh, give me a d20, and it's a one d three if what? you hit. Plus nothing. You're a wizard. I am a wizard. You are a wizard. <laughs> Eight. Oh, that's a nice hit against the next Mudman. You take your kunai and you shove it through it. Give me a D3. You might actually kill it. There's no pluses to it? Just D3? Just D3. Unless he has dex, but we're... I'd have to check that. Eventually we'll get better at these guys. You kill another Mudman as your kunai kind of shifts around your uh, friends as it flies past them. You guys see you uh, uh, your two friends, Maxton and Opal, that you just met are shooting projectiles directly past you, endangering your lives as they do it, uh, hitting the next Mudman and dissipating it as it, the kunai slashes through its neck, cutting off its head. Uh, there are now, I believe, 15? Or did... No, there's 14. How many, how many have died? Let's see. 14. There are 14 mudmen in front of you, and they go. You see them rushing towards Opal in the front with a fury. Two of them will go first. A six and a seven do not hit your armor class of 10, unfortunately. Let's see. But they can occupy the same space as the rest of them go. Oh, God, this is terrible. Two others miss you, Opal. Six so far. Finally, one hits you, Opal. Another slides up your arm as he grabs onto you. The mud running up your arm. That's another mud Wait, man. Are they going. climbing up on top of each other? Or yes. they can occupy the same number of space? They can occupy the same space. You see this giant clump of mud men in this, like, hallway. Alright, there's 13. Wait, so how, so, I mean, how many of them are within, is it like a two-by-two two, like, hallway? Like uh, one by one? It is a one-by-one one hallway, essentially. Um, and they're just cramped in here. So are you guys, frankly. So how many of them are occupying the same like space in, in front of us? Like, right how many now, of them are, like... there are five. Six were there, but uh, they all clump together. But they're still going, as all 14 are going to attack Monkey this turn. You are now at uh, 10 movement, Monkey, by the way. Another two come up and hit you. That reduces them to 11, as... Your movement is further reduced to eight. You got okay. enough to carry me out of here. I'm okay. I have a plan. I can I can damage like all of those fuckers if you back out a little bit. Ten have attacked you so far now, so we only have uh, looks like one left after this, I believe. No, that would be it actually, because we reduced numbers. So only this one counts, but that one does hit you, reducing your movement <laughs> to nine. As the mud just begins to encase your body, your chest is completely covered, your arms are covered with this thick kind of clay-like substance. Almost feels like heavy clay, almost rock. And you, uh, it goes to your guys' turn once again as Opal is just covered in these mud men. Um, okay. um oh, no, can, can, can you, can you like escape? That. Can you escape so, out of there? I have a plan. So, um, uh, if I did a healing touch or whatever, would it, like, get rid of any of the mud? No. 
Okay. Uh... <laughs> if you run your full movement, you can get behind us, but you can't take another action. So okay, I have to try yeah. and move through the entangle, which will provoke a saving throw. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do that. I'm going to try and get behind them. And I've actually realized I did saving throws wrong again, because I always do this. Um, I make above. a mistake. You need above. Nahum, you need to correct me when I do that to people. I always think that way. I, I just did, I didn't want to... You didn't want to hurt your wanna... party? Okay. <laughs> no, not, not hurt them, okay, but I, I didn't want to, like... need above a 15. Hurt, hurt your thunder. <laughs> this always so happens. I, is I do the math backwards in my head all the time, because I keep thinking of Thacko, but either yeah. way. So they really shouldn't have passed. So you need, you, yes, they shouldn't. They should have been entangled. But give me a 15 and abo or above uh, for your saving throw, Mr. Druid. Mrs. Druid. <sighs> that is not a 15 or above, is it? The, that is fucking The sick. pipe weed wraps around your arms and your legs. The legs oh, that you can just fuck. barely move with. You're stuck in place, kind of restrained. Um, like, uh, you seen the latest, latest uh, Rick and Morty episode where they go to hell or whatever? Kind of like that, no. uh, where Rick and Morty are, are trapped up on a wall, or Rick and Jerry are trapped up on a wall, uh, kept there, restrained, just spread eagle. Uh, <laughs> Maxton, <laughs> you see your companion completely trapped, entangled by the pipe weeds you two have spread out. Uh, how do I save her from this? You could try and pull her out. You'll also provoke a saving throw. Yeah, okay. Um... Give me a saving throw. And then we can do a strength check to see if you can pull her it's out of the gonna be so entangle. Bad. You need above a 15. That didn't roll. Don't worry. You need to yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, it needs to show that dice icon, by the way, guys, in chat. If it doesn't show the dice icon. Yeah. They didn't add the D to it. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot. Or viewers, because we're not streaming. Oh, my That's God. That's a failure. You guys see the same thing happen to Maxton as he is spread eagle <laughs> like a bird in front of you, <laughs> entangled. Let's go okay. down the line, Genos. You can move forward and try and help him. You're, you guys are still by the pool of water shooting your projectiles. So. Is there any way I can get around around, around it or I can go above it? Like, it, can, I, like, can I dexterity to see if I can go over their shoulder, like step on their shoulders to um, get around them? Uh, you, you'll have to provoke that uh, entangle, but you could try and get in front of them. Yeah, with a dexterity. Okay, I'll try, I'll try, yeah, no, um, Just okay. fire straight through us. Fire straight through us. Fuck us, honestly. Um, that's not how the spell works. Yeah. It's five feet in front of me. Yes. Like I have to be it's right up there. It's a single tile. So, Fine. I will. I will try to get in front of monkey. I'll try to walk in front of monkey. Like uh, around the not around, but I just walk through in front of monkey. Okay. Uh, give me first your saving throw and then a dex check. You I'm fail. Well. You're trapped as well. <laughs> Spread eagle. Uh, next, uh, Genos, you there? Yeah. What so, um, can I try to throw my kunai and? Uh, or my dart and cut the vines on on max them um you really need to pull them out or go up and slice like if you could cut like one and make their saving not their save that you can make their strength check to get out better if you want by trying to cut like one of the pipe weeds just attack mm. it just attack it then it will die the pipe weed will die no, not a fucking pipe weed. The the mudman. Um, the mud, yeah, the mudman. There's one mudman right. left. Just kill the mudman. No, no, no. There's eleven of them, but they're all stacked on top of each other. There are eleven, but they're all oh, okay. in the big block. Then I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a can I at another or a dart at another. Uh, I mean, realistically, mudman. if you get, if any of you get behind me, I, I don't want to fire. I, cause I need to be right in front of them. Like, Give me I need your to be right. So that's a slash all right d twenty. Okay, uh, that's a hit. Give me your uh, D3 for damage. Ooh, you'll probably kill this one. You do kill this one. As you guys see another kunai go past you, you guys completely restrained, unable to even move if he were to hit you, uh, taking out one of the 11, making them 10. But it is their turn as you are all restrained. They get advantage of four against a restrained individual like you, monkey. Do they, they don't do attacks, they just kind of engulf you the into the mud. Four attack. They do attack rolls if that's what you're asking. No, I mean like a damage attacks. Three hit you, dissipating, making them only seven. And uh so that means one has failed its attack. Uh your movement goes down to six as your legs are completely engulfed. Your arms are engulfed. The only thing left is your neck and your head that hasn't been engulfed in this weird clay substance. Monkey, what's your health? 
Uh, I think it's like eight or something. There eight? Oh yeah, I'm firing three then. Attack. Yes, I am. You'll live then. No matter what, you'll live if I do the attack. Aldo's is also eight, I think. Another three That's dissipate, right. bringing it down to four as you lose another three points of movement. You're down to three. The last two attack you. Wait, there's only two left? Uh, there's there's four left. Two haven't attacked yet. Oh. They oh, so when they, when, they, when they clomp you, they dissipate. Yes. Oh. Monkey, you have one movement point left. Literally, your entire face is covered. You can't see anymore. Your neck is covered, too. All that's left is your mouth. As you go, what do you say? As only Opal's mouth, as it shifted over to your guys' turn. You completely restrained. Opal this, goes. Um, depressingly, I just say, this sucks. Okay, you hear? It goes like this. This sucks. Help me. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, uh, you're stuck now. You're so encumbered, you can't move at all. Uh, even if you did a strength check. Uh, let's go to Maxton. As Opal is completely frozen, restrained by Vine, the, the little uh, the pipe weed, and uh, completely encased in this mud besides her mouth. What All I can do? do is roll strength check. Canada. Strength check to get out. So strength. Oh my god. Uh, you need a twenty-one or higher. Let me check what my strength is. <laughs> uh, it's just like oh, it's seven. I thought it was four. There's only really two of them. Like, can you fire spells like this, or do we, we have to break free to fire spells? You'd have to break free. Your hands are stuck, unless it's just verbal. Maxton, that is a hard fail. You are stuck in these vines, restraining your arms. You're like, help, help, or something, or what do you say? Tell me what you say. Get me the fuck down from here. Okay, Lock Rockford, the last restrained individual. Use the water. You break oh, out. But there's two people in front of you. So is it possible to get past them? And would I, would I still invoke another? You'd another invoke saving another throw? saving throw, and you'd have to do a dex check to get past them. Okay, it's there's only there's only two there's only two things left, right? Yes. Okay, then yeah, then me then then me and Janice can actually kill them. Okay. Janice. Mm. Janice. Janice. Yeah. What's up? I'm making sure. I believe that's a that's a pass, actually. Yes, that's with an eleven. You hit the creature for three damage. Let's see if it survives. It does survive, just barely. You see, you hit the clump, and a bunch of mud dissipates. Janice, what do you do? All right, I'm gonna hit the other one with another dart. Does Monkey get like a say, like a strength check or something if she can break out? Like no, she's completely she's too encumbered. She only has one movement. This is technically weight that she's taking on. Alright, we're gonna kill the last one with the dart. Go ahead. Go. Oh, I forgot I had a roll. Fifteen. You hit, you hit the, there's two left by the way. Do you hit the one to home hit or do you try and hit another part of the clump in front of you? Oh, I money. just... The big, the, the biggest thing, that's what I hit. Okay, that's the one that no home didn't hit, so... Give me your D3. Three. You do what three fuck, damage, man? but it survives. There's two left. They look at Opal, and you see them reach their arms towards her mouth as both fly into her mouth, encasing her in mud, and you cannot breathe, Opal, as all the mud men are gone, but you are completely encased in mud. So I'm dead, not, basically. No, I, 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 I go get my water skin. Right, I, wait, hold I, on. As it drifts no. between their round and yours, the start of the round, give me a D8, Opal. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. You take one damage, because that was your damage roll. As oh, you thank God. You're down to oh. 7 HP. <laughs> All right. Um. I okay. I try to go up to her and uh, mm -hmm. and try to pour the water skin around her mouth, like like uh, dislodge the mud, kind of. Okay. You try and dislodge the mud. Yeah. With your hands or. 
Uh, you said water just kind of like makes them like slop off. You try to do water. Uh, you see as uh, you pour water down into her mouth that the mud dissipates, but it falls down into her throat because uh, you didn't try and pull it out. Rather, you used water. It uh, shifts down her throat. Give me another D8. Can't I just swallow? <laughs> You're swallowing mud. It yeah. Suffocate, but there's still another pack behind it too. You take four more points of damage as you go down from seven to three. Uh, does anyone else act this this time? All the monsters are dead. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so we, yeah. wait, wait, wait did it, doesn't everyone get an action before she takes another yeah, round of damage? Yeah, that's why I said, does any? Well, you poured water and the mud slipped down her throat, her gullet. Okay. Um, wait, I, I can't even fucking. There. Am I still? Am I still entangled? You are still entangled. I can't. Wait, so are her. so are you? Aren't you? No, Locke wasn't. Okay. Give me a saving um, throw lock, actually. Oh, yeah. Make sure you can do that. Uh, mine's, mine's 12 and above. Yep. It's your wizard. No pluses, no pluses, right? I pass. You pass, so you do that and cause the four damage, but one of the mud covering her mouth is gone. Okay, Still I start trying to rip away mud. Wait, and you're, to... You took your turn this round doing the water. Can I just throw it up now? Like, the, the rest of it? Can I just give try me, and gag? Give me a constitution <laughs> check to gag your way out of this. How do I do a constitution check, sorry? It's a d20 plus your constitution score. Okay, thank you. So for a 21 or higher, once again, basic success. Oh, just oh, You guys see her cough up. The mud almost slides out, but then it slides back in and solidifies in her throat once again. Uh, can I can I do, like, another strikes check to try to get out of the fucking bar? Yes, give me it. Give me the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> just get the shower. Well, you're covered in mud. You're encased. Yeah, but I just need it out of my throat so I'm not suffocating. So just Heimlich me. You break out just barely as you rip off the pipe weed. It smells delicious. Um, you can try and move towards her, but you'll provoke the pipe weed once again as you move. Or you could do something where you're standing if you want to try that. Can I? Can I do? <laughs> how much? How much health does she have left? Three. Do I have healing touch? I think I have healing. No, healing something. I have healing something. Hold on. Cure light wounds like... is the healing spell. Cure light have. wounds. Cure light wounds. Yes. Do, do I have a touch for that? Uh, you do, but you can. You can't touch your mouth from here, but you can just poke her back if you just reach out your arm and don't move your legs. You're pretty close. Okay, to I do that. I do that. Give me a D8 for the heal. Natural one, natural one, natural one, natural one, natural one. Don't say that. Why do you want to kill your part? Why do you, why, why do you want to kill your players well, so bad? It's, it's kind of us against oh, him, really. Yeah. I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend, Shit. your companion, your closest lover, your evil twin. You're every villain in the game. I am everyone. I am you're God, every motherfucker. NPC. You're, you're every woman. It's all in you. <laughs> you restore two, going to five, as the nice blue aura of healing touches you. Okay, so I try to break the stuff around her. To still, to still not point. another round yet. Oh, <laughs> still the same we round. have oh. Janus still. Janus. Yeah, what the fuck? What do you do? You're dimensional you over me. Hi, right, me. So... Um, there's a pool of water behind me, and then there's a bunch of weed in front of me, and there's a bitch covered in mud. Yeah. Um, well, last part, woman, but okay. And, um. So, do I have anything to carry water? Uh, you can cup it in your hands if you want. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna try to fill my mouth with as much water as I can. And then okay. I'm going to do a hand sign, and I'm gonna squirt it at her. You're gonna this try... okay. I know exactly what you're doing. I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> what? Hold on. You're Don't like, worry about it. You're spit taking her? Yeah, but like, you know, a like, good, like, Anywhere specific? You're just doing it at her. I want it. I want to do it at in her mouth. No. no quick question. Yes. Can I healing? Oh. Can I yes. healing touch myself? You can't move your arms, so no. Yeah, but what if I could move my arms? Could I healing yes, touch myself? You could. Okay, clap, clap. Just get my hands out, please. But I could spit in your mouth. Um, okay. <laughs> my eyes. You have to pass past the entangle, so you have to do pass the saving throw of twelve or higher. Um, I'm gonna fine. I'm gonna spit tank her hands. Uh, give me give me a d twenty and get a twenty. <laughs> this is an incredibly hard thing to do. 
try and spit I'm not spit water. tanking, I'm squirting it, you know, with a hand sign. So you, are you moving towards her, though? How hard is this? Because how far are you moving through the entangle? I'm, I'm, I'm going as close as I can without touching the entangle. You're already as close as yeah, you give can. Yeah, give me a 20 or, 20 or succeed. <laughs> I'd fuck, I'll take, I'll take, I'll roll the, I'll roll the, to, to get into the entangle. Let's do okay, this. Okay, give me your saving throw. Well, what is that? Is it, is it 12 or higher. Plus, plus what? There's no pluses. Okay. Yeah, you can just roll d20. 11. Oh, you Dang. walk into the pipe weed and immediately it wraps around your legs and arms and your spread eagle. Uh, the water in your mouth, now awkwardly there. Okay, You can still, so... you can still spit though. Wait, let's... <laughs> so, right? Yeah, 20. Natural 20, please. As this has even become more difficult, you spit water onto your pants and it looks like you peed yourself. Um, okay, <laughs> we go around to Lock Rockford. Okay, right. I try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break her out and start doing the Heimlich. Okay, uh, you can dissipate the mud by doing the Heimlich. Wait. as you... <laughs> All can, the mud. Can I have a go? Uh, you can now speak, but your arms are still restrained. Uh, but we can shift through doing stuff now. Free actions for all if you want to clear the mud from. Uh, okay. open. Now, now, now that she wait, am I the only one who's not locked up? Yeah, the entangle will eventually dissipate, so you get a couple actions. Oh, uh, before it dissipates, like now that she's safe, I start picking more buds from the pine from the weed. Okay. Oh my <laughs> You see, God. At, uh, Opal, you don't see this, but the rest of you do, as you don't have mud covering your eyes right now. But uh, the rest of them can you can see uh, Lock Rockford prioritizing grabbing the buds to make sure he's like looking through them, making sure to curate them properly. You know, probably hey, takes hey. a dagger and cuts them off. Everyone's everyone's safe, man. Now we have one. Well, now we have like two pounds of this stuff, man. Hmm. Um, but we should uh, make some money off of it. Uh, we could we actually make money off this. <laughs> As the round, we should, we, should, we should we should sell this to the other fraternities. Wait, That's how how much do I harvest? Can I roll for that, or is it just? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm imagining. Did you see that? Because you're still covered in mud. You go, we should sell this to the other fraternities, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just a mouth with mud covering it. Oh god. Uh, eventually, those two rounds go over, and those buds you grab disappear as uh, the spell dissipates, as it was consumed in the spell. Wait, wait, oh, it all disappears. Yep. Oh, they no. wither, or they wither. So, they don't just like vanish. So if, if they disappear, does that mean if we smoke it, does the high disappear? No, because this yeah. is how you make weed, if you don't... Why don't you with try weed, it? With weed, don't you dry it out, right? And if this is an imitation of, like, marijuana, right? Then, yeah, perfect, they will. Let's dry that shit out and smoke it. Right, but, like, it, we have to do it before it dissipates. But if it dissipates, um, do we lose the high? Or do, do oh. we still stay high? This is a question you have to okay. answer by doing it. Right, you let's know? head to the hall. But you're out of pipe weed. That was so, all of your pipe wait, weed wait, that was wait, used. When he took... It's... How we got in? Uh, oh, I didn't give her all of it. I just gave hey, her some oh. seeds and stems. Can y'all, um, uh, like, uh, splash me some water or something? Yeah, I how we can kind of pull out of the. Yeah. the, the you mushroom. can, uh, you can clear her out of the mud. You can see once can we, again, uh, Opal. Can we, can we do it in a very specific way, though? No. no. I, I want to like pick it up. I want to like, I want us to pick it up and toss her into the pool of water. <laughs> yeah, you guys can do that if you want. Can we? Can we? Can we do this? Uh, this okay, good. well, if, if she's, like, yeah, if it's not too heavy. It's, then... She's heavy, but all of you together have enough strength. Janos, you see, is barely helping you. Uh, as yep. he just, like, feebly no holds strength. up his arms, you see those weak little twigs. Uh, you guys carry her over, and we get the scene of our three intrepid adventurers kind of dump Opal into the water together. I think this is a, this is a very good friendship moment for all of you, as you just yes. drop her into the water. Uh, the mud dissipates and Opal is freed from her imprisonment. I uh, I look angry and because uh, <laughs> I have a mountaineering skill and we fell down a pit, I'm just going to start climbing out. Uh, yeah, you can start climbing out the pit, the uh, opened hole uh, up there. The you hear a uh, hearth. I don't leave just yet. Don't know where we, look at the crystal. You, you we hear will go crystal. free me please from above as you climb up. But you can climb up if you want to. <laughs> I, I yell after her and I say, like, Bitch, did you die, though? Did you die? 
<laughs> you right, you right, you a skinny legend, and I come I come scuttling back down. You scuttle back down like the little scuttle bud you are, and uh you look towards the uh crystal covered in that mud still at the end of the hallway. Floating. Can I splash water on it? You all can go splash water on it together, and as you do, you hear oh, oh from Harthy above. Oh okay. yeah. We we just, just oh it. yeah, oh. here we go, folks. And the crystal begin to gyrate as you eventually get all the mud off of it. It glows with a purple glow, and he goes, I am free! And uh, you will hear sounds from above as though you're hearing uh, like sweeping and dusting and uh, all kinds of manner of moving of furniture. The house is uh, once again healthy and free. Harthy is here, never fear. You're welcome, I'm, 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 I'm imagining like the, here? I'm imagining the BR guest song from like Beauty and the Beast. It's like everything's sweeping and cleaning. <laughs> Just... yes. uh, you guys can all climb out of the pit. Some of you will need help, like Janos, who can barely lift himself up. Wait, wait why can't Harthy get us out of here? He brought us down. You ask for Harthy to get you out of there? Yeah. Oh boy, you hear from above. Get ready to get wet, and you'll see the pool of water begin to rise. And he goes, come on. And uh, the water will rise you up to the top where you can move around here. What is this? He did, why couldn't you have done that yourself to get rid of the mud? And as you reach up towards the top, you'll see Harthy. Uh, you didn't clear my crystal. I couldn't do it. And uh, Harthy will go, but I am free. And around you, you'll see the house begin to take better shape as the cobwebs are dissipated and the furniture Wait, laid can out you before keep you. The hold, on, hold on, we have to finish room? because there's time restraints. So uh, you'll see the house laid out before you. You can all go separate into your various rooms uh, and you can decide how they're decorated and what they look like functionally as long as it's not crazy, right? Uh, no, like golden trim, but uh, he will uh, essentially uh, craft your room for you in this uh, fraternity. And together, the uh, the hearth, the fraternity has begun. Our first journey yes. completed. Uh, next session, we'll start with uh, your main attributes to see how you've been doing as you're in your grades as we skip ahead to maybe after Hell Week, as uh, this was your hellish adventure below the depths. But we will end our session. Yes, we didn't really escape Hell Week, did we? <laughs> no, we just kind of... We did our own version of it. First day, to be fair, Listen, I'm to be fair. Here with you. I did. Nothing happened to me, right? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, if anybody got a hell week, it was me. I literally it was you. Just you. <laughs> you got you yeah. got pukaki by mud. I mean, that wasn't that didn't seem like a fun okay. experience. Okay. But did you die though? No, I didn't die. I did That's suffocate, weird. but I didn't die. <laughs> so, for our viewers that are watching in the first week or any time else, you can join us in our next session or next week. Um, for our party members, I hope you enjoyed today's session. We're doing milestone leveling, so you'll level at our the end of our next session. Um, if you complete your quests, that is. Other than that, uh, we're done. So uh, we will start our adventures at UWI, the University. Uh, sorry, UW. Yeah, the University of the Wandering Isle. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, but uh, we'll see our viewers later. Bye Please bye. Comment, like, and subscribe. But uh, yeah.